how to use a date, time and timestamp without fact in Ansible playbook. A quick and dirty workaround using the date command line utility. I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. How to use a date, time and timestamp in Ansible playbook. The Ansible underscore data underscore time Ansible fact is an amazing resource, but sometimes you can't have it or you don't want to use the date and time of a remote host. This is the use case, for example, of a network device or I don't know, a lot of things pop up in my mind. This solution enables you to print the date and time in and the ISO 8601 format. I ended up after carefully reading the date man page. Unfortunately, not all the platforms support the dash dash ISO 8601 parameter, so you need to build the format by yourself. This is the example for macOS operating system. Demo time. How to use it date, time and timestamp without Ansible fact in Ansible playbook. I'm going to show you an example to print the date and time and the ISO 8601 format relying only on the date command. The output is captured to Ansible via the pipe lookup plugin that read output from a command. Please note that the date command will be executed on the Ansible controller node and not on the target host, like all the lookup plugin. Let's have fun! Wait a minute, what is that ISO 8601? Well, it's very very important because it is a, a standard defined by the ISO about how to share data and time format because you know nowadays we need more and more to share time and date uh, with our colleagues worldwide or people uh, traveling around the world especially in this post pandemic world so having the same format and share that the first position is a day of the month uh, sometimes it's getting confused so this is a standard and international recognized format. Let's say that we start with the year, then the month and the day, then uh, the hour in 24 hour format and exactly the time zone is an offset between uh, Zulu time, the universal time clock. So it's not grimy, Grimwich because also UK has a daylight saving. So this is it. Let's move on to our Ansible code. Here we are. Welcome to my editor. Let's get our hands dirty. First of all, let's start our play with a name date and time demo. That is going to be executed on host all of my inventory. Let me set explicitly gather underscore facts to false so we are not using Ansible facts. Let me show you three different tasks to print it out date and time using the date command line utility. First of all, let's see only date and time. Let me use uh, ansible.builtin.debug module. Mm, let me print it out uh, one message using the lookup plugin name. So this is a function, so we need to add uh, the type of plugin, in my case a pipe, and let me specify also the... Okay, let me close the parentheses, whatever, okay. Now, let's focus only on the command, let me copy and paste all the formats. So, we are going to use the year, the month, the current date, the at symbol, then hours, capital letters, so 24 hour format, then minute and seconds. Here we go. 
What else? Uh, well, we are trying to print it out now the ISO A601. Let me do in the manual way first uh, and then let me show you the distribution, uh, the most recent distribution uh, format. So again, let's uh, use the debug module to print it out on screen, Ansible built in debug and then the message will be using a lookup plugin. Specifically, we are going to use uh, first is the name, then uh, the parameter. So let me add the space. Here we go. We are going to use a pipe again date uh, the format is similar to the previous one so year month and day the separator this time is a capital T letter so tango then uh, uh, hour minute and second plus the time zone how to use a time zone well use the Z letter for Zulu the most modern operating system support a built-in ISO 8601 uh, parameter. In this case, the command is very similar, so let me copy and paste in one line. So, lookup plugin, pipe, and the date will be... Okay, let me close the right parenthesis for the value. Here we go. Okay, date command, this time is super easy, dash dash ISO a601 equal seconds so we are going to print it out also the second oh well i need also to add the let me copy and paste this same story i'm a lazy boy so we have a free task to print it out date and time iso 8601 in the manual way and also if possible if the operating system is supporting with dash dash iso 8601 the second extraction might generate an error if the target operating system doesn't have this parameter. So let me add uh, an error handling function to this. To ignore any error, let me add ignore underscore errors here and let me set to true. So in this way, we are not get a final, a fatal uh, error message, but we can keep going with the execution. Welcome to my terminal. Let me execute straight away my Ansible playbook with Ansible dash playbook command line. Let me specify dash e like inventory file. In my case, uh, I'm using a demo machine and uh, the name of my playbook. So in my case, date and time underscore no facts. And the execution is super fast and we get uh, three different ways of uh, seeing date and time uh, on our screen. Uh, to be specific, the third way using the ISO 8601 didn't work. As you can see, there is an illegal option, which means uh, it's not available. But the first way, getting date and time, worked pretty good. And also the manual 8601 is perfect format, uh, compliant to the standard. Yay! Now you know how to obtain date, time and timestamp without Ansible fact in an Ansible playbook and of course how to use it. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you and now you know one more tip and tips to save time in your automation journey. See us on the next lesson and have a wonderful day, yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.